Okay, just time. I'll uh, read one poem. And apologies if you've heard it before. When you live on the 21st floor of a tower and way past midnight you hear a fracture of wings and in the morning there's a colour dove on your balcony, is that a dream? When you live on the 21st floor and you get home just at dawn from a party where you've been working at the desk all night, the desk of words I mean, and the mist you've travelled home through lies, flannel just beneath your feet so you cannot see the ground and yet the whole sky is kingfisher blue. Is that also a dream, but is it not also the most real? And out of such skies came birds and came bombs. When you live on the 21st floor and you notice that in a crack in the cladding a few metres down a kestrel has made a nest. And when you see that kestrel pinioned on its wing bones, sitting at ease in the middle air, shifting sideways on sudden gusts, its unperplexed ligaments ready to dive it through skies of reality, through torn webs of nerves, and when you catch a feather of the colour dove floating past your eye, is that not a dream, or is life only a dream? Or when you see arctic geese flying beneath your feet or the landing stage on the Camargue, just as once you saw them flying between the mountain and the sea, in the gap between sight and nothing, right there above your head, on those far islands of mica schist, way out west beyond the times of clearance, is that only a dream, or does life just dream us? And language has broken down, language has been bandaged, like the sun, like the bandaged sun. And we speak in chunks of betrayal words when language itself has become. Or when at eye level from your balcony you see black darting swifts mewing in the fine drizzle, turning their sleek bodies in the sun as they bite tiny insects simply for sustenance. Is this just a dream? Or the gannet that plunges down cliffs of light as a brook lift might through shafts of dark and breaks the surface of the curdled water, leaving its tongue's graffiti on the shore beneath, having picked out just one fish for its gizzard and gullet. Oh, my toppled sanity. Oh, my maytime market. Oh, my bridge of dreams. Or well, the cormorant might fly straight at the sun, and either it will crinkle and fizz in the black heats, or else it will heal the sun's bandaged wound, for this is what birds know that we no longer know, or the storm petrel sleeping on the heave of the ocean, giving countenance to the wreck and the rack, waiting for the spigot of flag of seaweed, or the onrush of maritime tide. One time in my house on the burnt island, a wren deep dived by a buzzard fled in through my blue open door, but then was as bone burst by human space as by any beak or claw. Though I spoke to it in bird words from the peace of my heart, and I cupped it in my hands until off it flew. But my mind was a burnt island, as was everyone's in this bruised world, or in this world of bruised minds, and is everyone just a dream? When you live on the 21st floor, the old Ukrainian man, 12 floors down, keeps racing pigeons on his balcony, pop by his cold, and he sings lullabies in the sunlit pub on Cable Street. The pub that is not yet shut down, and his pigeons fly in wide arcs in circles from his balcony, but they cannot return him to his village near the grove. Shh, shh, this is his mother, hugging him close, shielding his eyes, clasping him to her body, lest he moan or whimper when the partisans piss in the bushes she's hiding him in as they pass through the burnt village. Psh, psh, is this then just a dream? But when you live on the 21st floor and you see two cormorants sweeping the sky, making wide arcs of their own choice, bargaining with no one, compromising nothing, what in their bone structure do they know that we will never know? What in the balance between their gut and their eyes? And suddenly from sweeping the city they streak and scud from one sector to another, from one skelly to the burning sun. Corporations named cars after animals, governments named bombs after birds. Even language has its final answer. Even words fail or else soar where we most need them. Even birds fly across East London, coming from Iceland or the Western Isles, going to Morocco or Algeria, going to Syria or south of the Sahara. Is this just a dream, this parliament of birds, these migrations, this flight path of swifts and swallows, this discourse on the sanities, this journey to be made across breath, or the stupidity of ever drawing boundaries? 
When you live on the 21st floor above Watney Market and down there in the paved market, you can see your friends about to begin their day. Thank you.